someone like you and I, we've been following this for so many years. What got you interested in UFOs? Uh, well, it's kind of an interesting story. I was late for a science class, and uh, I had a teacher that had passed around a an assignment. The assignment was you're supposed to pick a topic that was on a list and then give a presentation on it uh, and do some homework, basically. And so I was late for the class because I was in a band class and I had to put my instrument away. And, I, and the only thing that I found left on the list was the word, uh, basically UFO. And I didn't know what that was. And so I recall going up to my teacher uh, after class and said something about, can you give me a hint? <laughs> I mean, what, what is UFO? I said, well, you've heard of flying saucers. You've heard of, you know, uh, unidentified flying objects. Maybe I said, well, I didn't hear about you know, UFOs before, but I have heard of flying saucers. And he said, well, go, go and do the invest, you know, go do your research and, uh, and you can, you could probably find something on it. And so I half heartedly did that. Uh, I think I read a couple books, you know, like the books on the, the, you know, something similar to like my Saturnian lover, <laughs> or my trip to Venus or, or something of that nature. And so, you know, I didn't treat it very seriously. And I, and it, resulted in me getting up and making a big fool of myself in front of a very well astute uh, teacher who asked me a lot of questions. I didn't really answer them well. And so I got my D that day. Uh, oh, that's <laughs> not very, fair. <laughs> I got my D and I, you know, I'm, you know, and then I, I recall going home, uh, you know, whether it was that day or the day after or something like that, that on the news, they had uh, Walter Cronkite came on and was talking about a, a case called the Lonnie Zamora or the Lonnie Zamora case in, in Socorro, New Mexico. I think when I heard that case, I became like, well, wait a minute, there's something more to it than just the things that I read. 